Hello, my name is Kat. Welcome to my channel. Today is just a little update of what I've been reading the last month. Hello, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. So today's video is just a little update. I want to let you know what I've been reading during the month of August. I read more compared to the last five months. So it's good. It's progress. I'm happy with that. And also, I didn't uh, did want to include these books in my next wrap-up because usually I do every two months my wrap-ups. And if I put it with the next wrap-up, it will be too many books if we keep going this way, like if we keep reading at this speed. And if we added a little more speed, maybe it's going to be even more books. So I didn't want to put too many books in a wrap-up. And also, I have to do an update of my bingo card, so it's too many things at the same time. So that's why we're doing this small wrap up now. It's the first time I do a wrap up for just one month, so let's see how it works. Maybe it's, it's okay. Uh, anyways, it's not too many books in, uh, in total, it's two audios and three physicals. We're gonna start with the audiobooks. The first one it was Lessons of Chemistry by Carmus Boni. So this one is a very, very popular book. They already have an, uh, an um, adaptation in, I think it's Amazon. The book uh, talks about this woman that she's a chemist uh, and she's trying to work her way in her career, but because it's the 60s and they don't let her because she's a woman and all those uh, preconceptions about what women supposed to do and woman it uh, what is their position and what is their cap how capable are to do some things is very very clear like the women they cannot do many things so she's um, struggling with that knowing that she's a really good chemist and she's a little odd like she is not um, very sociable like easy sociable person uh, but she's really smart. So the book, I was surprised. I was thinking I will not like it too much because, you know, all the hype about uh, uh, this book and all the series and everything, sometimes they put too much hype on a book. And when I ended up reading it, I don't really like it. But this time around, I think it was a really good um, book. It was very interesting. I find some little details that, kind of um, didn't make sense maybe the it's not like a big deal details so I'm okay with that um, what I can say I did like it the audiobook is really good the narration is really good I do recommend it I have a good time listening it then the next one it was Navajo Autumn by Chapel Allen so now I choose this little novella it's a it's not no yeah it's a novella it's a mystery a story and it's about this um, community that has their own uh, police they have their they have their own laws and I choose this one because it's autumn and I want to start putting myself in the mood because clearly uh, the weather is already saying that we are going to fall uh, season uh, the trees are telling me I will put a video somewhere that it is autumn already it's still hot outside but the trees already are changing the season so we're changing our mood to for the next season and this one it was the first uh, autumn or seasonal audio that i pick i already been searching for other ones for the next two months so i think i'm i'm gonna have a good like reading seasonal time especially with the small novellas in audio version so this one um, is about this uh, guy that he's a police. He went to the university outside of her, his community and then he came back, but they don't put him in a, in a good position in the police. They always put him on the side. He is the only one ha he can have some kind of connection with the community and with the outside law. And suddenly a woman appeared dead and seems like one of the person in the community is the one that is guilty and he um, helped with the investigation to see what's going on if it's true or not like uh, since his knowledge about the regular laws and how the community works um, 
helping to resolve the crime, we'll say. Did I like it? Mm, I think I, it was okay. It was nothing like blowing my mind again. It was fine. I didn't find that anything autumn seasonal feeling. So it was not really that atmospheric. I don't know why they call it autumn or Navajo autumn. I don't know why, but anyways, it was okay to listen it while I was doing something else. No too many things that uh, blow my mind. It was, uh, you can predict a little bit after the middle point, what is going to happen or who is, who is guilty and who is not guilty. And you know what's going to happen with the, with the police from this community. So, but what it was, it was fine. No too much complaints with that. So the next one, uh, it was my uh, book club pick. It was uh, Sherlock Holmes. The first one, I have to read the, the title because I keep changing it. Even when I'm Googling something or when I'm trying to find something, I keep changing the name of this. I study in Escarlat. So that's the first book in the series of novels from Sherlock Holmes uh, by Arthur Conan Doyle. Uh, is where he introduced the, this icon detective to us and how he met. Uh, Hol uh, what is no, it's not Holmes? Oh, my querido Watson. <laughs> so how he met Watson and how the relationship start. Um, it's set it in two parts. That kind of threw me off a little bit uh, because you have Sherlock Holmes and then the second part and then you're going back to Sherlock Holmes. It was a little like it kind of pulled me out of the story a little bit. I understand why it was there but it kind of pulled me out from the story. Um, the characters, clearly, their personalities are there from the beginning. Uh, I do like uh, Sherlock Holmes. I think that's why he's so iconic. He is not... Um, he's very odd on his manners. Like, he has strange uh, habits and uh, a strange way to explain the things and... He is not so sociable. He ha doesn't have social skills either. So, uh, but at the same time, he's very smart. So it's, it's really good. You can tell his personality right away. The same with Watson. Uh, you have to read it if you are interested in read Sherlock Holmes stories. Is the introduction of him. So you you have to read the first one. I'm about to read the second. Um, book that is the sign of four is not a long one either and um, yeah i have a good time with this one the next one i read it was the maid nita pros let's put it there so this one it was our, our optional pick for the book club i ended up reading it uh, very quick at uh, the beginning um so it's about this uh, maid uh she's again a odd per she has an odd personality, not too many social skills. And she gets somehow mixed with a crime that happened in the hotel that she works. And she needs to help the other people to resolve the crime. So she's not going to be the person who's ended up being guilty from, for the crime. Um, at the beginning, I was enjoying the reading. Uh, I kind of find the main character very interesting. But the more I read... It was something of I couldn't see the character uh, grow. I couldn't anymore connect with the character because at the beginning I was connecting with the character. I was having some empathy with the main character. I was having fun with the main character. But uh, the more it passed, it was like, mm, I don't know if this is right, the, the way that she's describing this, uh, this character in general. Uh, the crime is kind of like very easy to resolve like very predictable uh, they have a lot of good reviews about this particular book a lot of people like it a lot of people enjoy it maybe it's because the the introduce uh, because she introduced a new character a new representation but like i said i don't know if the representation was well done in the book at the beginning it seems like it but the more you read it it seems like it didn't it didn't go well. So I don't know. I have mixed feelings. 
it's a mystery story, very predictable. I was expecting to like it more. I was expecting to find it more intriguing, but I didn't. Sorry. The next one is The Gentleman in Moscow. This one is by Amor Tolls. Amor Tolls. I can never say this. The names right. So this one is about this uh, man that is a count. Count. He's part of a ro royal family in Russia, and uh, he is uh, sent to house arrest in a in a hotel in Moscow, and he has to live there, technically his whole life. And while he's there, we're going to see how Russia changed um, from the 1920s, if I'm not wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. From the 1920s to the 1960s. How the political situation changed, how the government changed, how that affect to his life and how the, that affect didn't affect to his life. We also see him, uh, how he adapt to the situation and how he relationship with the people who works there with the people who is coming to stay in the hotel for a longer period and overall i think the story is very touching uh, you see this person changing and adapting and I see him feeling sad for the past but at the same time grateful grateful for what he get and the position that is in didn't um it, he's saying that it could be worse, like it could be worse for him, but he's not allowed to live the life outside. So he's living by memory and by whatever is in his uh, surrender, like in this big hotel. And you can see the, the change of the political situation in Russia. And also the author makes a really nice work uh, putting some uh, note pages with some like historical information that Give you a little more idea like set set you more in what it was happening in that time in russia and how um historical facts actually uh, are related like to the story somehow you know like um we know it's a fictional uh character and a fictional situation but he introduced some little notes that help you to set your mind in the what was happening in that time I don't know how to say it. like he has some nice note pages of course i'm not gonna find it now uh you see i don't know if you can see it so he has a lot of these note pages that they are related to the period of time i did like it i do uh i do like the main character i like his personality the way that he see the things and it's a very long book it's a 450 pages but i did read it very quickly it's I'm a slow reader, so for the pace that uh, I have, I think I read it very quickly. And I was very interested to read this book for a long time, and I was keep putting it on, on the side, on the side, because the size of the book scared me. But I'm glad I read it. I have a really good time. I think they already have a have a, an adaptation for this one, uh, and I wanted to read it before somehow I ended up watching the adaptation. It's a really good book. I do recommend it. I do like the writing style. I I think it's definitely one uh, one type of book that I tend to like the style and the type of is, uh, stories that it's telling. I tend to like that kind of thing. So it's, I would say it's, it's it's a it's a type of book that I I know I'm gonna like it. So very highly recommended this one. And I think that's all I read during the month of August. I, like I said, it's much better compared to the last five months that I was probably going one book a month and maybe one audio a month. So now it's three physicals and two audios. Not so bad, not so bad. So anyways, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you want to know if I post another video, ring the campanita. And thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.